Today, we're gonna jump into unboxing the Framework 16 inch. Let's jump in. Hi, my name is Joshua. I go by JSCAR online. And today we're gonna jump into the Framework 16 inch unboxing. So I'm super excited about this because I've got mine pre-ordered. I'm in batch two. And while it was supposed to ship during Q4 of 2023, it just got here as of February of 2024. So went and pre-ordered mine when I saw that they went through and were doing the AMD side of the house. They are having the six modules and the modular GPU. So I am one of those early adopters who went through and bought and paid for the 13 inch model and I've gone through the upgrade process of the Intel 11th gen and to the 12th gen when I saw that they were doing the 13th gen and AMD I decided let's go with the 16 inch so at this point this video is going to be jumping in the unboxing experience and then we'll do follow-up videos on setting things up for the first time and installing the modules as we can see after everything's been opened up We've got our starter paperwork in here, which you can see some of it slide out. So we've got some paperwork as in some stickers, the warranty. And if you've never gone through and built a framework laptop before, there's awesome QR codes and tutorials. There's a couple other sticker patches in here. There's an actual physical stitched patch. So as we go through this, you can go through all the content is available for you to go check out online for the assembly process. If you're familiar with iFixit, it looks very close to their same setup on tearing things down. Great high resolution photos. We've got the extra patch here and then let's actually get into the content. So you've got a modular keyboard, which I just went with the standard. You've also can go with the numpad. You can also get an additional RGB numpad. I went with a black spacer. And I thought these were coming in pairs, but apparently not. This is uh, the uh, luminescent and then the LED matrix spacers. You've got the bezel here, which at this point, I just went with the default black edition. So put that off to the side. This is their awesome screwdriver that is, you can go through and flip to where it has either the star head or the Phillips. I went with two of the USB A and then to follow up I did two of the USB C and then the audio jack and finally also the third generation of the HDMI cable or the HDMI plug rather when we unbox take off the top we can see the 16 inch here before we pull out the laptop let's actually see what's in this side box so it feels kind of heavy. It looks like we've actually got our cables so we can go through and plug it into the wall. Then we've got our power brick, which is 180 watt, which is pretty beefy. It feels pretty light for what it's worth. So with that, we can go through and see it's a USB-C and I've got the US plug. I went with the 250 gigabyte NVMe and there's my final display port Gen 2. So I've got previous versions of these with my framework 13 inch. I wanted to grab the newest version of everything. There's more power efficiency with the newer versions. As we pull out the laptop itself, it's in this uh, protective film. Let's go ahead and pull the other things out here, including the DDR5 5600. I got a total of 16 gigabytes here and then put that off to the side. This is the module that you can plug in for your extended uh, this, in this case, this is the extension that's just got the fans in the back. It's an open slot. We'll unpackage that a little bit more later. And then let's see if there's anything else underneath here. Looks like that's it. Anything underneath the rest of the box? And no. Thankfully, that damage didn't hurt the laptop. So we are all good to go. Let's get rid of this box. All right. So let's unpackage this guy. We can go through and take off the cardboard piece that's attached on the bottom. And then from there, this is kind of like a thick wax paper or parchment paper feeling. So it's pretty well protected. You can jump in here and just peel off the side. I'm trying to be somewhat gentle with this because this is, like I said, not an inexpensive laptop, but the build quality is great. Love the aluminum feel to it. Uh, there's no damage to it. Let's check out the bottom sides. So first time seeing this in person, going through and seeing, okay, we've got our three modules on this side. Interesting thing is that the feet that do pop up, 
uh, are actually thicker than I expected. So this back is going to make sure that you have plenty of clearance when you're sitting on a table, which means you're going to be able to make sure that you get lots of airflow to that GPU and CPU. So that's bumped up a bit more than I expected, but again, not a negative thing. You've got the single USB display port on the back that's going to be able to just be able to pull the graphics from the dedicated graphics card and put it onto a screen. It is not going to support USB charging. And we'll go through a little bit later when we do our follow up video on our modules because there is an optimized way to put these things in. Let's go ahead and open up the just standard module that you can go through and swap out on the back instead of the dedicated GPU. So when you go through and unpackage this, it's just got the two uh, master cooler fans on the side and then this little like eight pin pogo pin thing that's set up. I'm also very curious to see what folks are going to go through and put in here. Uh, additional NVMe perhaps. I would love to see a capture card be able to be put in back here. So more content putting back in this area would be amazing. Definitely looking forward to experimenting with that. So. I've been also very happy with the other Cooler Master case that you can go through and put the guts into, so I think this is a good pairing. So we can actually see this is a lot thinner than the GPU one that's currently built into the laptop, so this just takes more space in the back for that dedicated GPU. So with that, this the unboxing, we've got our standard keyboard, a couple of the different spacers that we'll go through and unpackage and start assembling the laptop with our next time around. Uh, we've got our extender plugin for that external uh, fan setup and then the number pad module. So with that, hope you like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video for the assembly.